Neat. Hey everybody, I'm some guy named Nate, and I'm playing something very uncomfortable today. So uncomfortable, I locked the doors. I blew up the, um, something else. Create that new save data. Neponich Software made other things I really enjoy. Like they made Dagon Ronpa, for example. That was good. Live 2D. In the famous words of Vince, are you only into 2D girls? Yeah, listen to this. Bump out to this. Criminal girls. Invite only. Ugh. So fair warning. <laughs> fair warning. This game is lewd. So, uh, good do warning. Do not watch this if you can't put up with Tid. So, I'm just gonna go and start from the beginning. Uh, let me see options really quick. Okay. Do, do, do. Yeah, I guess that's all fine. Let's make music a little bit lower. And effects a little bit lower. You want to hear those voices. You want to hear the moaning. Um, let me back out really quick. There you go. New. Alright. Here we go, guys. So, there's Japanese voice acting, but I'm still gonna read it. So, you'll be able to hear the Japanese dub in the, or, uh, in the background, but you'll hear me dub it over. Here we go. Up. What's going on? I hear a woman's voice. Wake up! Hey, wake up already! Duh! And so we're getting slapped the shit out of- Oh, is it, what, what tube are we in? Oh, there we are. There's our boss. My cheek feels the sting of a sudden smack. Falling asleep on your first day? You've got some nerve, huh? If you guys want me to not dub over the hot lady's voice, then I'm sorry. But whatever, you'll still hear her. I blurt out a quick reply. Ow, or I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. I'm totally not sure what's happening, but it's probably the best if I apologize. I don't want to end up in any more pain than I already am. From now on, I will not tolerate slacking. Your mission is of... There you go. Extreme important, after all. It is so important. Look at how important she is. She's so sassy, and she blinks every once in a while. So I guess blinking every once in a while is better than Dagon Rampo when they're just still frame images. Th that's right. Today's the first day at my new job. If I remember correctly, it sounded similar to being a zookeeper. I wonder what I'll be doing. Are you awake? Say your name. Alright, everybody. I'm not going to be stupid because I only have six characters, so I am just going to be Nate. Because I know you guys... You guys like when I enter silly crap, but I'm not going to enter silly crap. I'm just going to be Nate. Here we go. My name is what? My name is who? My name is... Chiki Chiki. I need to think of... It's Nate. Oh, she's gonna slap me more. You're talking so much time, or oh, you're taking so much time for every little thing. Let's just get going already. She doesn't care about me. So, Nate, looks like everything's in order. Nice to meet you, Miyu. Uh, I'm your team's orientation officer. Basically, it's my job to support you. Well, please support me. So I'll introduce the girls that you'll be taking care of. Woohoo! Let's see. Tweedles, open the cells. Open the cells. Here's the small children, girls. You start with four, and I think there's 12 you can cycle in your party. This is an RPG, and I'll play it as much as you guys want. And I'll stop when it starts getting zero views, or when I get bored. Or I'll try to beat it. Who knows? You guys tell me in the form of watching it. Gather around, everyone. It seems three of them have escaped. Oh well, who cares? Girls, I thought I was caring for zoo animals. Same thing. These girls are animals. They're subhumans. Well, maybe that's going a bit far. Oh man. Thanks to the evil within their hearts, they're pitiful delinquents who have been who were sent to hell when they died. Oh, fun. So, by the way, this game takes place in hell, if you didn't know. Hell? Died? That's what I said. This is the bottom floor of hell. Dead criminal souls are relegated to this place. Sounds fun! Oh, she's happy now, though. Oh, but don't worry. It's not like you died or anything. So I'm not dead, but I'm in hell. Sounds good. Just like my real life. Your mortal body is simply asleep. You'll return to it when your job is done. That's that's a shocking development. Now I see why you're paying me zero dollars per hour. Uh, but if this place really is hell, it's so dreary. Almost as if it was I was in a prison or something. Ah, oh, great. Now! May I finish my explanation? Yes, you will, Miyu. Explain. Your job is to instruct and lead these girls. Sounds good. I'll take care of them. Like I said, these girls haven't be haven't bleh, become criminals yet. They're just delinquents. So we have to whip them into shape, everybody, and I really mean that by whipping them into shape. Their souls have died young and haven't yet had the chance to commit their crimes, but they would have been criminals in the future. Uh-oh. Here, we provide another chance for these girls, these delinquents. 
Our program uh, reforms them into decent individuals before resurrecting them back into the mortal world. Hell's Criminal Code, Section 322, Clause 2, provides a program titled... Yeah, what she said, Reformation. Reformation? Reformation targets boys and girls who are tainted by their criminal DNA. This is an amazing program that was designed to provide an opportunity to reform and revive them. You'll be their program instructor. Sounds good. Meaning, you will be climbing the hell spire with these girls and helping them out along the way. Sounds good. Sounds like a fun blast. If they overcome the four trials and reach the tower's apex, they will earn the privilege of reviving in the mortal world. However, the trials are pretty difficult. If they continue their delinquency, they won't be able to reach the top. Uh, so, make your way to the top. Your task is also to get these girls back on the track to reform. So, do you understand what's going on? What should I tell her? Uh, yes, understood or no problem, Mom? Yes, understood. Hooray! That's good to hear. She didn't hit me. That's good. Then bring these four girls over here, even if you have to put leashes on them. Hooray! Everybody get your fetish on. Leash them? That sounds too cruel. You really have no idea what these girls are capable of, huh? Oh, well. Try doing it your way. Okay, guys. Um, Let's see. Okay, so I'm the white-haired one. Who do I want to talk to first? I'm just marching in place. Uh, We got blonde girl, blue-haired girl, cat ear girl, and tits magoo. So let's do the order. Let's just talk to blonde first. What do you have to say? The girl with pigtails is eyeing me. Like she's sizing me up. Bleh. Yeah, she's sizing me up all right. According to these papers, her name is Kyoko, so she's also a Kyoko, just like uh, Kyoko and Dangling Grandpa, Kisarigi. They just call her Kisarigi. Hmm. Hmm, what? Hmm. What in the world? How much is that belt worth? Um, the one I'm currently wearing is worth like $12, if you want to know for real, it's Kisarigi. Belt? Uh, I bought it on sale the other day. Okay, it was 25 bucks or it was 150 bucks? Uh, it was 25 bucks. I see. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Hmm. It's no use. She's not taking interest in me at all. Okay, I have to talk to her again. I think I got that wrong. Oh, crap. Okay, maybe I should have said that it was $150. Whatever. Blue hair girl. Oh, she's not saying anything either. Nope. My friend. A tiny girl with hollow, wandering eyes is mumbling something. According to these papers, her name is Yu Mizuna. Apparently she calls herself Alice. What do you... Hmm? What do you want? Uh, what's she talking about? I want you or I want money. Ooh! Crap! I want you. No. She seems to be done talking. Maybe it'd be better to come back later. What? Am I just going to fail this game by not being able to talk to these women? Okay, small flat cat ear girl. What do you want? Well, she just said meow. A petite girl is looking at me with alarming eyes. For these papers, her name is Sako Katigi. She just goes by the name Sako. Hey, you. You? What do you mean, me? That's right, you. Are you the one? The one who took Yuko? Yuko? Where? Where did you hide Yuko? What, what should I say? Uh, she's not here. I don't know who that is. She's not here. No, oh, she's punching me. Shut up, shut up. Hurry up and find Yuko. Who's Yuko? I can't figure out what she's talking about. Okay, let's talk to Busty Magoo. There you go. She says, Ch. The tall girl is looking at me. She looks like she's close to six feet tall. She's tall. Her eyes are filled with malice. According to these papers, her name's Kyoko Rando. Everyone calls her Ran. Oh man, what do you want to say, Ran? She's not saying anything. Nope. She's glaring at me pretty intensely. You there you go, she's a tough girl, are you trying to pick a fight? As she speaks to me, she moves to her punching me without thinking I... Uh-oh, I protected my face or grabbed, my, grabbed her fist. Um, grab her fist. She's a girl's punch, should be easy to stop. Ah, sucker. No! There you go, I went... With my hand wrapped around her own knuckles smashed into my face. No, I shouldn't feel like I'm in danger, she's probably easy. she should probably ease off for now. Okay, warden lady. I don't know how to talk to him. I told you they wouldn't be easy. So what are you going to do now? You can't wake up in the mortal world. H how should I answer? You got to help me out or can you please give me a hint? Um, there you go. She's going to hit me. Yep, she thought that was funny. No, she's going to hit me anyway. Ow! 
Fine then, I'll save you, but just this once. If you go like this, I'll just cause a bigger head. It'll just cause me a bigger headache anyway. Well, thank you, my or Mew. 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 Who knows? Whoosh. Listen up, ladies. If you don't follow this guy's direction, I will. Uh, you will live like this for forever. Hard bread, nasty water, cold floors, a life without change for the rest of eternity. And your weekly punishments won't disappear, they'll simply become worse each week, eventually they'll become unspeakable. But, it's of no consequence to me. Sounds like, after Mew's menacing threat, the girls seemed attentive. Hooray! Now then, get going, you better not let me down, got it? Mew's intense eyes fixed right on me. There's no way I could quit now, even running away is out of the question. I guess there's no choice but to do my best. Who didn't know that intros took so long? All right, let's just go down the line again. All right, what do you want? You want me to follow you? How should I answer? Pretty please or basically yeah. Um, uh, crap. Yeah. Hmm. Talking pig and stuff. How much is that coat of yours? How should I answer? Uh, you sure are interested in my clothes, or was it around eighteen hundred dollars? There you go. What the heck? I was just a little curious, that's all. Uh, sitting in jail forever will be a drag. I guess I don't have much of a choice. Hooray! Well, I didn't get her to happily join my party, but that's fine. She's in my party now. Alright, she's in my party. She's right behind me. Blue hair girl. Hmm. Okay, Alice, what do you want? Hmm. What should I say? It won't be scary to come along. There you go. I should focus on relaxing her guard for now. No. Alice shakes her head side to side. Hmm, what else should I say? I need to worry. Or, enough already, damn it. Oh, no need to worry. Instead of staying here forever, you will be much better off if you come with me, your buddy Nate. After all, there's a scary old uh, lady here. Alice nods her head up and down. Hooray! I'll go. Hooray. Alice decided to come with me. Hooray! Alright, now Cat, you're a girl, and then we'll talk to Bust. Alright, Cat Girl, what do you want? Oh, you're not going to say anything to me? Do you feel like giving Yuko back to me now? Well, what should I say? Uh, Yuko doesn't exist or you'll find her if we climb the spire. There, I'll lie to her. Is that true? Well, I assume so anyway. You're telling me the truth, right? If you're lying, I'll make you eat a thousand needles. It'll really hurt. How should I answer? Please, not a thousand needles or enough already just come on. So you're not lying then. Well then, for Yuko's sake. You're unreliable, but I guess I'll follow you. But if you find Yuko, I'm going to give you a special lefty. Or my special lefty. Does that mean left hook? That means she's going to punch me. I'm going to turn the TV down one click just because the girls' voices are so high-pitched. There you go. Down one click. We're fine. All right. Now let's talk to the, the mammoth tits. Here we go. Hmm. Did you come for another beating? Well, actually, yes. Even before ending her sentence, Ryan comes at me. Uh, she'll swing from the left or she'll swing from the right. Oh, God. From the right. I got this! Don't throws a right hook. Yeah, I guessed right. No. I ran to the right and felt Rand's sharp graze tip of my nose and whistled through the air. No. <gasps> Rand sticks her to a aggressive posture, blows up for another arm punch, and after her miss, and what am I going to do? Grip my teeth or jump back out of the way? Grip my teeth. It's no use. I can't dodge this one. I grip my teeth and tense my legs. Huh? A brutal punch connects with my face, but I am somehow able to keep my feet. Uh, what, the, what the heck are you? Rand's looking at me with surprise. Hmm. I've lost this fight. I won't make any excuses. You want me to come with you? I'll go anywhere. But you better remember this. I hate men. So you better watch your back. Well, thank you. Well, as long as you... But maybe I'm not a dude. You don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm wearing a big coat. I could be a woman. All right, hooray, we got them all lined up. Looks like you had your skill to rein them in. All right, now. It's about the time that yeah, you guys get going. Ugh, the three delinquents who ran away ugh, should be on their way to higher floors. But don't worry about that much for now. Just make a steady progress. Hooray. I'll go on ahead and prepare the next step. Just make sure you bring those girls. All right, sounds good. How should I answer? Leave it to me. Or, what do you mean the next step? Leave it to me. Hmm, you sure are an energetic one. However... What do you have to say? No, she's gonna hit me anyway. If you think this is gonna be easy, you've got another thing coming. It's a good song. Okay, cool. So, that door is the cells, so what's down here? There's gonna walk around. What's down here? 
Ooh, okay, I guess we're, we ran to the basement accidentally. That's fine. What's in the basement? Oh, she's gonna yell at me for going to the basement. No, I guess she wanted me to go to the basement. There you go. Me who's signaling something. She probably wants me to come over there. For now, I should probably head over to those stairs. I'll take my time, damn it. Ooh, a chest. Ooh, I got five. Potion S times five. Sweet. Well, good thing I got to that potion. I'm gonna use the D-pad, guys, because I think the D-pad works better. Uh-oh. It's a slime blob. Yeah. What the heck? It's so gross. Yeah. I go, stop, don't come near me. What? You bastard, what the heck is this? You're a man, do something about it. Well, so you're just like Wendy from Danganronpa 2, aren't you? <coughs> just because I'm a dude, I have to care for you? You lot, what are you chit-chatting for? Ooh, ah, a slug. What does this mean? This place still it should be or it should be uh, secured against convicts. Mew looked confused. Uh, what in the world's going on? Get this thing away from me. What in the world's going on? Dodge, ah, she hits me anyway. Enough with this unnecessary talk. I'm thinking right now. No, thinking is a waste of time. Listen well. You lot will be the ones who were defeating this thing. You should have learned how to fight in prison. Well, I don't learn how to fight in prison. Well, yeah, but you want us to defeat that? Don't go asking the impossible. Like being ordered to fight all of a sudden? It totally doesn't make any sense. Regardless, you should continue beyond this point. There will be a whole lot of enemies just like this one, you know. Oh no, and not just that. If you girls don't fight, you'll be tortured to death by the convicts. Uh-oh, that happens. The reformation program will end and you'll be eternally damned for the real this time around. Hmm, what the heck? No way! I'm gonna go back to life without Yuko. Oh man, then fight! Yeah. Nate, will you be the one giving order orders? You must get them to fight. Well, when you put it that way, uh, let's do it together. Stop dawdling. Hurry up and kill it. Um, there you go. T taking orders from a dude? I'm not really feeling it. I'll do anything for Yuko's sake, but... You're, like, so gross. Well, thank you. Oh, Alice isn't going to say anything, though. She doesn't care. <sighs> It appears you must get them in the mood for fighting. Oh yeah, I'm getting in the mood right now. Nate, motivate one of these girls. You must spark... You must spank them. I didn't read that right. You must spank them until they promise to be good and fight. Well, okay. Looks like I don't have much of a choice, but to listen to me, I should suck it up and motivate them. Okay, now then, who should I motivate? Okay, guys, on the next installment of Criminal Girls, invite only, we are going to motivate one of these girls. Who should I motivate first? You'll find out. Tomorrow or whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.